Just because it's simple doesn't mean it can't be fancy. <laughs> Hi, my name is Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina. And in today's video, I am going to show you how easy the collar fun fold is, but also how to step it up and make it a little more fancy. Oh my goodness. So um, this is a Facebook Live and I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Friday is my fun fold day and I'm doing one of the simplest fun folds. It's called the collar fold. All right. And um, because it's alive, I'll be interacting with you all when you make comments if I can. But for those of you watching on YouTube, of course, you're watching a replay um, and I'll try to get to the card as soon as I can, as fast as I can for you. All right. Here we go. So, um, before we do get started, though, like I said, my name's Christina Reese. There we go. There's all my buddies, Kim and Melinda and Debbie and Stephanie. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Um, I want to switch. Uh, I want to remind you all that I do have a new host code. It is for October. And of course, when you spend between 50 and 149, I send you a nice thank you gift. If you spend over 149, 150, you become your own host and you can choose your own free products with your host reward points. Points. Okay, and what else do we need to remind you of before we get started on this card? Uh, but did, did you, oh, my newsletter. If you're not signed up for my newsletter, I encourage you to do so. Um, that way you keep up to date with anything that's going on. Plus, um, I send card tutorials exclusively for my subscribers that I don't share on any other uh, place. They're not on my blog, on any of my social media, anything. They're just in my newsletter. So that's another great reason to sign up. And um, oh, one more thing. Yikes. Yeah, like I said, I'm trying to get to my card as fast as I can, but I always have announcements. So don't forget, uh, Sunday is the last day to sign up for the card kit by mail. If you like getting all of the supplies, the tutorial and videos, how to make beautiful cards. Uh, this month I am using the Merriest Moments. It's the stamp set that I'll be using today. And Merriest Moments comes with dies and it also comes with an embossing folder. And so that is really cool. The kit also will have a bling and ribbon and designer paper, all kinds of fun stuff. All right, let's uh, quit talking and get busy. Like I said, the collar fold is the best card or it's the easiest of all the fun folds. And it is the best way if you have a piece of designer paper and you love both sides and you want to show off both sides. That is the main reason people like to do the collar fold, okay? Now, this is a very simple example of the collar fold. Very, uh, you just cut a piece of designer paper, then you make a slit about two inches in, then you fold the corners back, put some kind of image here where the point is and you have room for a sentiment. So this is just a very simple example. I'm going to take some time and I'm going to create another card. It's going to be, I have a little bit more than this one, but then at the end, stay tuned to the end because I want to show you a super fancy one I made. I can't wait to show that one to you. But before we do that, let's get out and go step by step how to do this. Okay. Oh, I've got all kinds of people. I got Georgina from England. I know it's the afternoon over there. Good morning. Or good morning from me to afternoon to you and Barbara and Susan. All right. Oh, Susan says it's her first live. Well, welcome, Susan. Love to have you. Awesome. All right, so I have um, my card base, which is just an eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. That's pretty simple. But then I have my designer paper. And the back of this designer paper is just a tone on tone uh, graphic. So it, it makes for a nice um, accent, okay? Let me get out my paper trimmer here and show you what I mean by cutting the slit. So I want to make sure you can see this in the video screen. Yes, you can. And we're going to be cutting along the long side, the, the five and a half side. And we half of five and a half is two and three quarters. So what we do is we take our designer paper and we put it up against the two and three quarter mark right here. So that means my blade is going to be cutting at two and three quarters. Now I only want to go two inches. Okay. So our trimmer has a ruler over here. And before I snap that in place, I want to put my blade right at the two inch mark. Okay, there it is. And I'm just going to press down and push up. All right, that's it. Now I have a slit 
that's two inches and it's right in the center, all right? So that's the uh, easy part. And then the next part is very simple too, but you just gotta kinda be careful. You're gonna be folding from this corner to where you stopped your uh, cut, all right? So we're just going to, and I like just taking my fingernail or something to kinda get that at the point there and then that point and then just kind of maneuver it so that it lies flat and you're not getting a funky fold, <laughs> a funky fold. All right, so there we go, that was pretty simple. Now just do the other side. There we go. All right, so that's the only tricky part is trying to get your fold um, to go from this point to this point. Um, you could take a, um, uh, scoring tool if that was helpful you could do that too all right so there we go now that we have that down we are going to put it on our base just like that all right pretty simple huh and so we just need some adhesive Make sure it's lined up correctly. There it is, good. Because it is an entire, it's covering the entire front. So if you get it kind of uh, askewed, um, you'll see the card base and you don't want that to happen. Now, these um, little pieces here, I like them to kind of stay tacked down, but not completely flat. So let's put some dimensionals in there so that they are tacked down, but not all the way flat. That's pretty easy. Where is my pick a take a pick tool? There you are. All right. There we go. She is grooving on the cut. Oh, he is. I'm sorry, Greg. <laughs> Greg is grooving on the colors. Yes, there's a lot of the new in colors here. We have um, the evening evergreen, the soft succulent. This actually has misty moonlight in it. Here, I'll pull it up so you can see it better. Isn't that fun? You'd never think to put blue in with your Christmas colors, but anyways. Okay, so there we go. That is the collar fold. The, we're finishing. Why it's called a collar fold? Because it looks like a shirt collar. <laughs> okay, so we're done with that. Now, let's um, add on to this a little bit more. We're going to stamp and cut out some poinsettias. So, like I said, I am using the stamp set uh, Marius Moments. Love this stamp set. It's got beautiful sentiments and uh, beautiful images. So that's what we're using. And I'm going, of course, with the colors on the designer paper. So I have my cherry cobbler here. This is going to make a very dark poinsettia, but that's okay. It's a pretty poinsettia. And I'm just gonna tap lightly and press down. Okay, see what I mean? It's very dark, but still very pretty. And then the little one, so it'll have some dimension. All right, there we go. Then, I'm gonna put that away. Then I am going to make some leaves. What I love about um, stamp sets like this, where it has all the pieces, you can create your own. Um, in this case, we're doing our own bouquet, all right? So we're gonna have a poinsettia with some leaves coming out from behind it. You can make a very fancy bouquet with all these pieces. And um, they give you the dies to cut out each piece so you don't have to fussy cut, and that makes things a lot easier. All right, so here we have the soft succulent. And we have one, whoops, come on, holly leaf. There we go. And then we have a larger holly leaf. There's actually three sizes of holly leaves on, on the stamp set. Okay. And then um, I have a pine bough that I already had cut out from another card, and I did this in the um, evening evergreen. So I'm just going to put that to the side. But I need to cut these pieces out. All right. So like I said, they have the dies, and we just need... I take um, some low-tack tape, washi tape here, um, Oops, make sure I'm lined up correctly. No, this, there, that goes there. What, if you've done this enough times, you know exactly how it goes on there. But at, at first, you kind of have to twirl it around and find where it fits. There we go. And just tape that down so it doesn't move through the machine. And then we have this one. Nope, 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 nope. No. There it is. 
Okay. Oh, Diana says it's her first real live too. Awesome. I know I come early for some people. If you are on the uh, Pacific Coast, I know that it is 7.30 in the morning over there, and that is awfully early for card makers. However, um, I personally am a morning person, and uh, 9.30 is perfect for me, so that's why I'm here in Texas, Central Standard Time. Um, it's just perfect for me. I get all my business in the morning done and then in the afternoon I can either take a nap or <laughs> do stuff for the family. Um, I'm fortunate to stay home. This business that I have with um, Stampin' Up actually makes me enough money to have spending money and I love it. It's awesome. Okay, so now that I've got them all taped down, whoops, that one wants to move. I don't, don't want you to move. Okay, stay stuck. I've used this tape a lot this morning. Okay, let's put this in the machine and cut it. There we go. Yay. So like I said, this is the stamp set that I'm using in this month's card kit. Um, if you're not familiar with my card kits, um, basically you send me a the money for the reservation and then when I get all uh, when the time yeah, for instance October 10th is the last day to sign up so on October 10th and I cut it off then I go and I order all of the supplies that I need to make the card kits for you all then I package up the card kits I make the tutorials I make the videos and then I ship it all out to you <laughs> and it and it's just a lot of fun it makes card making a little easier especially if you love the uh, stamp set but you're not quite sure what to do with it so um, that's I love card kits and I have a lot of people who have signed up for this one and I'm real excited to to get to give this to you all right so I have the pieces for my card now let's bring my card back in okay and let's put all this in here um, Check my instructions here one more time. We have a base at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'm using the um, Sahara sand. It matches the designer paper. Then I cut a layer of DSP that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I cut two inches in at the center and the center is at two and three quarters. So I cut two inches in, folded back the corners to reveal the second side and attached the card base to, I attached it to the card base and then I tacked the corners down with dimensionals. So that's what I've done so far, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're gonna stamp and cut out the poinsettia, which we've done. We need to stamp the sentiment. Now this room for sentiment, there's, you have to remember that whatever image you're putting here is gonna come over a little bit. So whatever sentiment you wanna use in this area, you wanna be careful of that, okay? Well, this stamp set has the word joy and it fits perfectly right there. We're gonna stamp that in the evening evergreen. Oh, Michelle is up at 7.30. You are early bird girl. <laughs> No, I'm not 7.30 Central Time, yeah. That would be way too early for you all on the Pacific Coast. Though, I'm up. I My morning starts at 5 o'clock. But I um, I do my morning devotions and I kind of get my, I have my, my me time. Nobody else is up yet. And uh, get my day started. Check all my emails and all that fun stuff. Okay, so there's my sentiment. Now, my poinsettia, or poinsettia, however you want to say it beautiful Christmas flower. Okay, I'm putting a dimensional on the back. And also the um, point, this poinsettia has two shorter leaves. These are longer. So if I want to uh, put it, if I turn it this way, it goes more into the sentiment side. So be, be careful of that. And it doesn't have to be right here in the center. You can pull it over a little bit if, if you need to, to have room for your sentiment, but I'm doing good right there. And then the second piece, the little one that goes on top, if you want to, you can leave it like that. But I like the dimension of having the two. Um, now these, these kind of match, so you don't, it's just a smaller version. So you're gonna twist it on point, 
or so that the petals go in between, just like a poinsettia does. All right, there we go. So we have that. Now, oh, I almost forgot. Yikes, not too late though. Uh, the center of this poinsettia has the pollen. So, and they actually have a stamp for the pollen. <laughs> so ink that up and put that in there. There you go. Oh, you can't even see it on the film, or at least I can't. I'm gonna pull it up for you all to see this a little better. Isn't that fun? Oh, I just love it. Okay. Okay, now for my leaves. All right, so I have two holly leaves and I have a, a pine bough. All right, so I'm going to, and I'm gonna play with these for just a sec. Let me kind of get my idea how I want this. Do I want all of them up here at the top, like that? Or maybe we'll put the pine bough down below. Come here, pine bough. Come here. Ooh. Like that. No, I don't like that at all. But if I put the holly leaf down here, do I like it better? Mm. Well, that's not bad. Okay, yeah, I like that. Now, for these, I'm just gonna put glue on the back and have them attached to the card underneath the poinsettia. <laughs> Deb says, she's loving this card. Well, good, I'm glad you like it. That's what I do. I come on live so that you all can get some ideas from me because I just love sharing. It's my favorite part. Oops, I want that to come up on the fold a little bit more. There we go. Okay, and let's put this one in first. Whoa, they're flying everywhere. You can see this was a piece of scrap paper there. <laughs> I need something to hold this up. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, and then this one. Oh yeah, that's pretty. All right, pretty simple. We're gonna jazz it up just a wee bit before we before I show you the real fancy one I made. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Where did my bling go? There you are. So we have the in color bling. So uh, that has the um, early ever the evening evergreen and the soft succulent in here, and it also has the bumblebee in here. So I've used all three of those colors. Or we could go with the red. Um, this bling here would bring in the red. Uh, this, the other side has gold. That's kind of pretty. Yeah, all kinds of bling, but we're just gonna put a couple of pieces of bling on here. And I'm thinking I'm liking the red. All right, so actually I want tinier red. Hold on, give me a sec. I've got some other bling, some itty bitty red. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. This is like teeny tiny red. Um, and I need some tweezers to get these off of here. Okay. So I'm going to put one there. And one there. I can't decide. <laughs> I kind of want it everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. All right. So let me show you my original. Okay, here's my original. Uh, pretty much the same card. I just added some bling to the second one. Okay, and did it in different colors. So you can see. But are you ready for you ready for my big fancy one? Okay, here we go. Dun da da dun. <laughs> I love the whimsy Christmas paper. Um, it was on back order, non-orderable. Um, I'm not even sure if it's available right now. It will be. I know it had a, um, a date available. As soon as it comes in though, I just love pink and blue and green for Christmas. Now, how did I fancy this up? My very first thing I did to fancy it up is my card base. I splattered ink back there. Second thing I did is instead of stamping joy, I cut it out with our joy, uh, playful letters, okay? Then, 
instead of just putting the poinsettia down on the corner, if you can see way back here, I have a snowflake and then I have silver twine. All right, I put gems in the center. Um, yeah. Oh, and I colored the poinsettia two different colors. So that is pretty fancy. So I went from this to this. Similar, but different. <laughs> guys like today's fun fold i can't wait to see what you all create be sure to post it we have a private face group just for christina's creative stampers um, if you are not a part of that group you will need to answer two questions for me to approve you if you don't answer the questions i decline you because we don't want any um, crazy people in our group <laughs> okay um, but yes share your pictures or you can just share them on this page uh uh, creating with Christina. You can share them here too. All right. Um, I will be back on Monday with another card tutorial. You all have a very blessed weekend. Don't forget the card kit for this month. Last day to sign up is Sunday. Let me give you a sneak peek again. Really fun. Love this. I even have a pink one in here for you. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>